Do you... Hello, it's Mr. Rops. Hi, Miss Boy. Right, we are going to do this optimization question, and we are going to do it cold. We haven't even looked at it, so uh, bear with us as we do this one. Um, so the first one, we have this nice little diagram here with a radius of 2. Yep. So that means this is 2 and that is 2. We know this is theta in radians, and P is on the circumference. I want to find the area of triangle O, B, P in terms of theta. Well, I know there's an area formula that looks like this, A, B, sine, C. You can find that in your formula booklet if you don't know it. Right. And when we said cold, well, we actually looked at the first question, so we got that formula before we came. A is 2, B is 2, and sine of theta has to be the squishy angle. Right, so it's 2 sine theta is the area of this triangle here. Okay, now it says explain why the area of OPA, this triangle, is the same as OPB. Well, one of the things that we can see, if I look at this triangle first, here is the base, and here is the height. We'll call it H. So this triangle is also area is equal to the half the base, which is 2, times the height, which is h. 2 times a half times h. That is OPB. If I look at OPA, I'm going to change to red. This is the base. So it's half the base. The height of this triangle is also h. Very here. tricky h. So I get again is equal to h. So they are the same because they have equal bases and I congruent heights. They're the same height. Very tricky. Very tricky. Okay, now continuing along, we want to show that s is this total area, the two segments of the triangles. We want to show that s equals this scenario here. S be the total area of the two segments shaded. Right, all okay. the shaded stuff. Well, I know that that's going to be the area of the whole half circle will be half pi r squared. squared. That's the whole circle. And I'm going to subtract the two triangles away. So and we know the areas are equal. Those areas are equal. And we found out the area of one of the triangles was 2 sine theta. So then I can say that this is 2 sine theta. Mm -hmm. So if we do some computation on this, this is 4 divided by 2. It's 2, two pi, pi minus 4 sine theta. This is s. Looking closer. I'm getting better. And then I can factor out a 2. So 2 pi minus 2 sine theta. Voila. Voila. Okay, now, find the value of theta for when s is a local minimum. Justify why it's a minimum. Minimum, minimum, ring, ding, 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 ding. And here's the other question that uh, was asked today in class. Why do we always have to do the sign chart? When it says justify that it's a minimum, you actually have to show that it's a minimum. Right. Okay, so if we're going to do minimum, we must take the derivative with respect to theta. I'm going to use this version here to do my derivative. Much easier. Right. The derivative of this value. Tricky, tricky. Right. There's no constant. Or there's no variable, so that's a constant. That that's is zero. a number, right? That is a number. Pi right. is a number. So this is 6.28. It just goes away. Take the derivative of sine is cosine. Mm -hmm. All right. If I want it to be a minimum, then I am going to have to set it equal to zero. Divide both sides by f negative four, and I have cosine, cosine theta, theta equals, equals zero. zero. Where? Now, where? Let's think here for a second. Theta is this angle here. It has to be between zero and 90 degrees. Very tricky there, Very right? Tricky. Go back to the picture and take a look at that. All right, so I know I'm only going to look in the first quadrant. Zero to 90 is the first quadrant. Mm -hmm. So theta, where is cosine zero? Hmm. 
I know my cosines, my x value. I want it to be zero. It is at pi over pi two. Pi over two. I'm not going to go further than pi over two because that's when my ends. That's when cosine is zero. Now we have to check that it is a minimum here. Well, I look at my oh, get my number line on the go. Here is my number line. Here is pi by two. I'm going to look at my derivative. My derivative. Let's say what number is over here in pi by two. In pi by four, four. Let's say. Yeah. Say so look at pi by four. Mm -hmm. If I plug it into my derivative here. Pi by four is a negative mm -hmm. value because it's root two over two. Mm -hmm. What did I say? Negative. No. Positive, positive value. value. Times the mm -hmm. negative makes it negative. negative. So it is decreasing. Mm -hmm. S is decreasing. On this side, let's take 3 pi over 4. Cosine is negative. negative. Times negative. the negative is a positive, positive going up. Therefore... That's your justification, therefore, right? Justification. That's the part where they say there justify your answer. All right. Theta pi by 2 is a minimum because S prime <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> You're lucky I'm not writing. S prime theta changed from negative to positive. positive. Good. All right. One more part One to the more question. One more part to the question. Find a value for theta for which S has its greatest value. value. So now we want to... We want theta so that S has its greatest value. Well, I don't think there's any calculus involved here. I'm thinking if we take theta and we shrink it down here to zero, that will be all of S. Yeah. All right, so. For which S has its greatest value, and S is defined as the entire the total, sector, right? Right. It'll be this part and this part, but if I bring theta down. Yep, that goes to. That goes. The triangle comes down, and it's, there is no more triangle, and so it's going to be just half that circle. Right. So it says find a value for theta for which S is largest. Well, S at zero is going to be. Uh, the largest, so maximum, yeah. Right, so what am I largest saying? Largest area. Largest area when theta equals zero. Is it? What value theta? Yeah. Yeah. We've answered the question. Good. Theta is zero. It's a wrap. That's a wrap.